Peter Kane's Wild Card is without a doubt one of the very best effects you can perform with cards. So if you don't do Wild Card, it's time to change that. This is a routine I do a lot. I've done it in formal shows, I've done it on top of a bar, I've done it on a pool table. There are a lot of great versions out there. You don't have to do mine. Jean-Pierre Valerino has a beautiful version. It's almost balletic. You could do it to music. Peter Samson does a version that's funny and impactful and uses a theme from the film Invasion of the Body Snatchers. My version of Wild Cards called The Cheating Kid, and there's a few things that make it different. One, the premise. The effect is really a lesson in how you can cheat your friends at cards. Two, the cards are specially printed by the U.S. Playing Card Company, so blank-faced cards can change, one at a time, into aces of spades. And finally, in my routine, I try to create the impression that these cards are changing while the spectator is holding them, rubbing them, touching them, making it seem more impossible. Now I have to be honest, the version I like to do is more difficult than the typical wildcard routine. It uses gimmick cards, but it incorporates sleight of hand. For that reason, I teach the routine I do most often, but also a simpler routine. But even the simple routine has some elements that I think you'll find surprising. We've all seen terrific magicians perform effects that seem trivial or confusing. Wildcard is the opposite of that. As I said, it's one of the great effects in magic. 